Movies. Uh, oh. Music. This holiday season, take a trip to Bedford Falls to celebrate the 75th anniversary of one of the most beloved films in cinema history. Director Frank Capra's timeless classic, It's a Wonderful Life. On November 16th, 2021, Paramount Home Entertainment released a collectible limited edition two-disc Blu-ray set with a beautifully colorized version of the film in high definition, as well as the original digitally remastered black and white movie in high definition and access to a digital copy of the film. Perfect for gift giving, the set also includes 10 collectible recipe cards from Insight Editions, It's a Wonderful Life, the official Bailey family cookbook with cuisine inspired by the film. Additionally, the set includes over 45 minutes of previously released bonus content exploring the meticulous process of preserving and revitalizing this iconic masterpiece. A look at the movie's extraordinary sound, music, cinematography, and visual effects, and vintage footage from the film's wrap-up party. So as we can see, we've got this nice slip cover. It's pretty durable, not too fancy. Just some pretty flimsy cardstock um, in the case itself some real compressed cardboard. To be honest, this is the first time that I've actually owned a copy of It's a Wonderful Life. In previous years, I've just kind of randomly came across it on TV and started watching it around the holiday season, or maybe it was just streaming. I know it's on Amazon Prime Video right now for streaming purposes if you wanted to do it that way, but I haven't actually owned a physical copy until now. And that's exactly the demographic this is for. If you haven't owned It's a Wonderful Life before, this is going to be a great version for you. The 75th anniversary version, it's got a really cool cover, very classy looking. The dark blue and the gray and the white just kind of pop. And it's going to be for those diehard collectors who want to own all the different variants throughout the years. But other than that, this just kind of seems like another Paramount release that is just trying to milk as much as they can from this beloved movie because all the bonus content is exactly what you'll find on previous releases. This is a Blu-ray version, not 4K. This doesn't have 4K and Blu-ray. This is just Blu-ray. And this is a Blu-ray version of the native 4K scan that they released in 2019 with HDR, etc. But just like when I reviewed the latest Star Trek release with the first four films in 4K and HDR, with Star Trek being remastered, the 4K and the Blu-ray actually actually didn't look that different just because they had both been remastered and they are older films, some scenes with soft focus lenses, etc. So a film this old being shot on film, I honestly don't think you're going to see that much difference between the 4K HDR version and this remastered Blu-ray version because they are from the same scan. But please leave a comment below if you do happen to own the 4K version and let me know if there is a difference between the 4K and the 1080p Blu-ray. But speaking of the picture quality of It's a Wonderful Life, it looks phenomenal. Sure, you're gonna have those particular scenes that are soft focus and that is the director's intent. But then some scenes look absolutely crystal clear from that 4K negative scan. And that's just a testament to how well this was shot 75 plus years ago. But speaking of the audio, it's just your typical mono 2.0 Dolby True HD version, which has been the same audio version in countless recent releases. So as far as the picture quality being maybe on par, if not just slightly less than the 4K HDR version, and the audio being the same as it has been for many, many years, really this 75th year anniversary edition is just for those who are avid cooks and bakers who want to take advantage of these nine recipe cards? I don't know. Like I said, it just seems like they're trying to milk this cow for as many years as they can. But I'm not disappointed that I now own a physical copy of this movie, which I had never had before. So it's not like I'm just gonna toss it in the trash. Of course, I'm gonna keep it and watch it every holiday season from now on. But given that there's not much different from this versus the 4K version that came out two years ago, or maybe even the other Blu-ray version that came out in 2016, those recipe cards are really the only difference. So like I said, if you're one of those avid collectors that has to have all the different variants, or if you're just a super excited foodie who wants to bring the meals and desserts and drinks surrounding Bedford Falls and these beloved characters, then this is for you. And there you have it. 
Thank you for joining me on this review of It's a Wonderful Life's 75th anniversary release. Are you in my boat and have never owned a physical copy before and just decided, you know what, maybe this is the year that I'm going to own It's a Wonderful Life? Do you own the 4K HDR version that came out two years ago? Let me know in the comments below. As always, please be kind to each other out there, especially during this holiday shopping season. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.